Coming up on Sports Weekly, it's almost National Signing Day for our high school football stars. We will have an update for a couple of our local guys, plus some high school hoops action. Cajon on the road at Ukiah, but the Cowboys still on the hunt for a Citrus Belt League title, but they need some help at this point. Plus, we will hit the girls' soccer pitch, the Cowgirls in action, also against the T-Birds, as the CBL season is coming to a close. Plus, how about some... High school softball, the softball season is now right around the corner and the defending CIF Southern Section champions, Cajon, getting ready to reload and make another run towards a title. We will check in with head coach Lee Haynes. All that and more coming up on this edition of Sports Weekly on IEMG and it starts right now. And what is up, everybody? Welcome to Sports Weekly on IEMG. I am your host, Pep Fernandez. We appreciate you tuning in. Let's get right to the high school basketball action in the Citrus Belt League. Cajon trailing first place Beaumont right now in the final week of the regular season. The Cowboys will play Beaumont head-to-head, -head, so that will be in a very important game but the Cowboys put themselves in a tough spot because they went on the road and took on Ukaipa, and the T-Birds pulled off the upset. Let's get to the highlights in this one. We pick it up in the first quarter as Ukaipa would defend their home floor. Early on in this game, it's Nathan Hernandez, the baseline jumper there for the T-Birds. Then it's Cajon playing some good defense. The nice block there, but Adam Cano hits the three for Ukaipa. Cajon now with the ball. Isaiah Ward, check out this play. Ward going inside. Little scoop action there. Gets the bucket there for Cajon. Now we go back to Yakaipa. Malik Young from the corner. Drives inside. Little stutter step around a defender. And it's good for Young. More from the T-Birds offense. Hernandez had 19 points in the game. Here's a couple more right here on the three. Hernandez hits from the wing. Again, 19 points for Hernandez in the ballgame. Ukaipa's Cano, number two, the drive in the dish to Tristan Doty. He had himself a big game. Um, he had 11 points at all. Cajon would answer. It's Jackson Murray to Ward. That's how the first quarter would end. Cajon trying to get back into this game. They were trailing. Second quarter now, Tyler Malone to Malik Malone. The nice drive in the pass, and it finally falls in there for Malik. And then on the other end for the T-Birds, it's Doty again. Short turnaround is good. Remember, he had 11 in this game. He knocked down some jumpers in the first half to help Ukaipa build a double-digit lead on Cajon. Here's Doty again. Just inside the three-point line, and it is all good. Cajon would put together a little bit of a rally in the second quarter to close the gap. Tyler Malone the three for the Cowboys. And then it's going to be Malik Malone hitting the three. Ukaipa led by 11 points, but the Cowboys would cut into that lead before halftime. So Tyler Malone the three, Malik Malone the three. Here comes Lee Stewart with a three for the Cowboys. They would battle all the way back and actually take the lead right before halftime. Check out this play coming up by Stewart. He's going to find Reese Okanma. Okanma right there with the basket. But Ukaipa would come back in the second half and they win a very low scoring game, 48 to 45. So that means right now in the CBL, going into this final week, Cajon is at five and three in league play. Beaumont is at seven and one in first place. They will play head to head this week. Uh, Ukaipa right now at two and six in the CBL. So that's how it pans out right now going into the final week. All right, now let's go to the girls' soccer pitch. We'll also keep it in the CBL. Let's join the Cowgirls taking on the T-Birds out there at Ukaipa High School. The Cajon girls' soccer team fighting for their playoff live, trying to make a late push here and punch their ticket to the postseason. Ukaipa right now in second place in the CBL, trailing only <clears throat> Citrus Valley. There, Cajon could not finish, although they had a good opportunity, but they would finish here. Check this out. It's going to be... Alfaro, the goal for the Cowgirls, takes this pass, charges in, the keeper comes out, 
and a little chip shot in for the goal there and Cajonan make it a two to one game. Cajon goalkeeper Zeva Wong comes up with the save. Zeva Wong kept very busy in the cage and falls on the ball there for Cajon keeping it a two to one game but Ukaipa would tack on a couple more goals in the second half. Here comes a free kick for the T-Birds. It's going to be Ariana Lehman. Check out the shot by Lehman over the keeper's head and in. And now it's 3-1. to one. Ukaipa in front. They would tack on one more goal just for good insurance in the second half. And this one also coming off a free kick. And, and check out the sequence here. So here's the free kick into the box, bouncing around. Cajon trying to get the clearance. Ukaipa making it tough, trying to keep it in the box. And uh, they're going to put it right back in. The ball's going to bounce around. But finally, it's going to be Nola Vanderfin for the goal for Ukaipa as they win by a final score of 4-1. to one. So Ukaipa remains in second place in the CBL. Uh, one game back of Citrus Valley. All right, National Signing Day is coming up this week. And for our local high school football stars, it will be a very big day. Jaquan Smith at Cajon High School trying to decide between his three finalists. Will it be Washington, Utah, or South Florida? The University of South Florida or University of Utah, University of Washington, a couple Pac-12 schools there. Wednesday is signing day. Jaquan will have a signing ceremony at Cajon High School. And that is coming up on Thursday, February 2nd. So on, on the next Sports Weekly, we will definitely give you an update of where Jaquan is going. Again, <clears throat> dynamic running back, receiver, kick returner for Cajon, helping them win their sixth consecutive Citrus Belt League title this season. Down to his three finalists, all big-time college football programs. And Aquinas quarterback, Dre Robles, he is committed to the University of Redlands. Congratulations to Dre, the Aquinas QB, who is a CIF champion, staying close to home to quarterback the Bulldogs, like some other Aquinas Falcons have done, uh, including Andrew Kelstrom, the starting running back for the U of R. He's also an Aquinas guy. So uh, Dre Robles will join him out there after committing to the Bulldogs. He was the offensive MVP for the Ironwood League this season, and he was one of five Aquinas players to earn all CIF in Division 5. And now we get to see him for a, a bunch of more years coming up out there at the University of Redlands. Again, he's verbally committed, expected to sign on signing day. All right, so that's a quick update. Some high school hoops and soccer and national signing day coming up. When we come back on this episode of Sports Weekly, we're going to jump into some high school hoops. Again, league titles on the line as we go in to the final week of the regular season. We'll be right back on Sports Weekly on IEMG.